Ah, uh, fine. Just in time. Anyway, folks, go check out the bracket <laughs> to find out all the other things that are going on in science bracket. And here we go. Game number one between Luffy MK and Beast Mode Paul. I'm trying to make sure I have the the right names because sometimes Smash players, man, they just have whatever they want on their tags and it's hard to keep up. Oh, this is the wrong stage. Okay, that's cool. Oh, no. Uh, okay, oh. that's cool. That's cute. Off to a, a great start there. A quick little hand warmer, I'm assuming, just to make sure. And I actually, this is actually, guys, if you ever enter an online tournament, I'm telling you right now, before you actually play your match in bracket, please actually do a hand warmer lag test. Because there are so many people who just start the match right away, and they don't do this test before they start their match to actually check mm -hmm. if there's any lag. And then they start pinging me to actually fix them. And I'm like, save me the trouble and yourself the headache. Actually bothered to ask for a hand warmer, like, you know, lag test preemptively and I'm, what i mean by lactus is doing something like this just play a hand warmer and see how how that plays out if you feel like there's any too much lag then you know you gotta get that full lag test especially if you have like some timing based confirms that are really airtight or like you like to attack cancel a lot test out those inputs no i don't test out those inputs just main rob just just pick <laughs> rob <Yes. laughs> Why play any character when Rob exists? That character actually cheats. Don't let oh, anybody speaking, tell you different. Speaking of two characters that do get accused of cheating, we got a Beast Mode Paul's hero against Luffy MK's Richter, and wow. I know this is gonna sound like the I, I know I know YouTube comments are gonna like flame me for this. I know for sure that Twitch chat's gonna hate this and they're gonna say this is the hardest cap. But Belmont is actually the most honest zoner in the game. In my opinion, really? he is he the most on. He, he is way more on. Pac-Man is some. Mm, Pac-Man is something, bro. But nice Belmont, recast there by Beast Mode Paul. <laughs> he did the holy water toss to F Smash. I love that. It's so raw. Look at that coverage. Look at that coverage. Look at that coverage. One, like I'm telling Ooh. you, dude. That's what you want. You want those projectiles to complement your arsenal. Look at the complimentary. Look at the compliments. You that's what I'm telling you. The whip is 90% of the matchup. The whip is basically the steak itself. The you know, the side dish that's everything else. Good holding of shield. He only suffered a shield oh. break. He might die for this though. He might actually die for yeah. this. Yeah, he's dead. Yes, yeah, that, that is <laughs> that is a death. Oh, this Big is this, this is this is raw. This is the double Ooh. take this. To look at all that damage. And if Hero if Hero got scared it out out of shield, he was gonna have to worry about getting hit by Cross, which has set knockback, which immediately you know for sure Luffy could have definitely confirmed that. And you see Luffy is just making Beast Mapal expend so many resources just to get back to center stage, and even then it's just not leading to any kind of progress from nice dash grab yeah. by Luffy. Look at that, Sets look at the, the coverage with, with Cross, yeah. That's what you want. And once again, the complimentary, bro. That's what you get for free when you stay at the hotel here at 2GG. Setups after setups after setups. And Beast Mode Paul just can't keep up. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It, it's uh, it's complimentary pressure alongside the whip because the whip is what forces you to move and evaluate those other options. The cross is the is a great move because it's very similar to Link's boomerangs. It's got it's got the knockback to allow you to confirm into things, but its ability to come back and have a trap set up with it it makes it so valuable. Another thing is, even when Cross isn't hitting, it is going to um, trade with all of, uh, you know, Hero's down B specials. Too. Exactly. So that's also do putting in work because that's a lot of resources Hero often has to expend for those. Oh, the get, eating one of those as well. But here comes Beast Paul trying to chase Luffy around the stage. Nice spot dodge up tilt there. A good saving of the jump there too, because you know Belmont has one of the worst recovery like insurance policies of all time. So you want to make sure you save your jump because if not, you're gonna be hard stuck into an edge guard that way. That was, that was really good by Beast Mode Paul to just save that Kafriz. Oh, excuse oh. me, excuse me. What was? Did you see that? Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I take that back. Maybe Belmont isn't honest. That was a headshot. That was actually a headshot. Jesus Christ, that was ridiculous. This man hit him with tipper forward smash. That was a, I'm sorry, bro. Somebody clipped that. I'm so used to hero. <laughs> I'm so used to hero getting the like uh, uh, kill screens where it's like at such an absurd distance that I forgot that the king of kill screens at absurd distances are the Belmonts. Yeah. So. <laughs> also, 
even if you hate this character, please go do yourself a favor and watch the anime on Netflix. It is actually a, one of the greatest video game anime adaptations of all time. You you can I can back that for sure. Watch the Castlevania anime on Netflix if you have Netflix. Well, we're gonna try and see Beast Mode Paul institute his own kind of anime redemption arc here. And, that was so corny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I'll talk. I'll look. I'll talk. Look. I, I believe in the anime redemption arcs, but the best arc of all time is the Summer oh. Beach episode. Those are always great. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, he's living. He's living. Oh, he's no. living. Excuse me. I am a liar. Oh, Beast Mode Paul, please come back. Please come back. Don't die this way. Oh, and uh, checking out the pitcher and pitcher. Nice uh, jab there by Beast Mode Paul. He's got the uh, bounce that we were talking so much about during the pre match amble. Using zoom to they just reset. That's a, a sneaky thing that hero mains can do. Obviously, most of the time picking zoom on stage is just kind of like either a BM or <laughs> you're just kind of panicking. Nice fare from beast mode Paul though. Apologies for the late scene change here, but the late scene change will definitely go to show the terms of the late scene damage here, because 106 here is the late damage on Belmont, and you know for sure this hero is already looking to take care of that. That's gonna be a fourth throw for stage positioning here. Good stuff though on Luffy Ooh. to just use that forward air. Beast mode Paul, okay. The, <laughs> the double uh, win box options uh, with down B there, get the kill. That's probably the most dishonest thing about here, in my opinion. <laughs> that that win, yeah, is. the win box on that. Oh god, it's disgusting. Oh, that's it. That's just some of the characters in this game have like grab ranges that just feel like, oh, are you kidding me? I didn't get that, and that was mm -hmm. that case right there for Luffy. Case in, case in point, pre-patch Palutena grab had no. Oh, what a coverage too. That's a good call out from Beast Mode. Paul just knows like, all right, yeah. cool. He's got nowhere to go from that platform. Even if he jumps out, this fireball is big enough to hit him out of the platform. If he if he gets out of the platform from going down or jump. Yeah, Beast Mode Paul keeps this up here from the second stock onward, man. This is this game might be a wrap. Nice patience doesn't go into the the, blat, the splash zone for the holy water. Nice up tilt again. I love heroes up tilt. It's such a good move. Yeah, it's got a nice arc. Can call, can serve as an anti air. Oh, is this man gonna die because he didn't get the dash grab there? <laughs> nope, not quite. Ooh, good job by Luffy to keep Beast Mode Paul at ledge. That's good for him to preemptively go for that up air because you know Zoom immediately sends you towards center stage. Oh man, this is looking rough for Luffy here. Oh. Three stocks on Beast Mode Paul, nothing to be given just yet. Great use of that cross, gets the back throw, stage positioning once more. All the arsenal is going to come out here just because he knows he's looking for something. Finally nets it, but bro, is it worth, man? He's still down two stocks. A lot of homework to be turned in. Well, this depends on how Luffy's able to uh, use his momentum to his advantage. Oh, no. The that freeze shuts a lot of momentum. I'm sorry. That's a neutral winner right there. Oh, he was trying to take the, the flak route to winning game two here, but he's going to fall. Oh, top the holy water. <laughs> oh. oh, Beast Mode Paul coming back to this whole Beast Mode here. He's definitely making a stake for his namesake. 124, 33 here. You, like I said, there's a lot of homework to be turned in. That's a confirm. Exactly as you see it here coming out from Luffy. Once again, that's going to cover a lot of options. Luffy missing that angle forward, but you know he almost earned it. He's, he's coming back, bro. He said, you yeah. know what? There's finals next week. Never mind. I failed the class. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Beast Mode Paul able to sneak that back air in there to seal the deal and take game two. But really, that just boiled down to that second stock where like Beast Mode Paul basically Thanos snapped it away from, from Luffy. <laughs> yeah. Chat, do yourself a favor. Play Super Castlevania 4. Play Rondo of Blood. Play Symphony of the Night. Play Aria of Sorrow. Easily four greatest Castlevania games of all time. Rondo of like Blood and, and Symphony of the Night my two favorite Castlevania games. Super Castlevania 4, low-key goaded and people forget about it. But that definitely, and hold on. And then for Block Solve, I actually think the writing on the Castlevania cart, like animation was really good. I thought it was pretty solid. I don't think it's the greatest, but in trying to be something fresh, it was pretty, pretty good for, for me. It, it, it feels cheesy and corny as far as Castlevania goes. And we're on game three here on Battlefield. I guess uh, was is a relatively strong Belmont stage as you know it, the platform slow characters approaches. <laughs> Take 
Nice option coverage so far from Luffy. He's making beast mode have to throw out options to cover himself a lot right now. Oh, but the back air again. I thought that was going to be the start of something there for beast mode, Paul. Oh, he almost got the confirm off of Cross there. And Cross again. And Belmont's best friend. Power of Christ compels him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's going to be a hard He's way. Waiting. Oh, oh my god, god, he got it! Got it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Somebody no. needs to clip that whole section into like its own minigame. Kill like a like a break the targets because that was so perfectly timed. Jesus, break the targets. <laughs> yeah, that was that was definitely a break the target moment there. All right, well Luffy here on the recovery portion of the stage here gets back here after forward air. That's the good thing about Belmonts, dude. Their up B is almost as good as Mart's up B, and then they still got a tether recovery. But like I said, they're susceptible to being edge guarded so horribly. That insurance policy. It's kind of a, you know, a give and take, so to speak. Right now, Beast Mode Paul's doing a really good job of holding center stage here. Gets the side B to work. Gonna try, ooh, go for the edge guard with fair off the ledge. Not quite gonna get it though. Dash attack, nice play here. Gets the cover edge. Mm, narrowly missing that upper, but you know that's why you always want to throw something like cross away from you. Really powerful boomerang-like move. Up air, mm, narrowly missing it. Oh. Almost did another two for the up cross. Oh, that's uh, look at that upbeat. That's it's, like I'm saying, it's just as good as Martha Lucina's upbeat. Yeah, it's not better than it, but it's just as good. Like it's crazy. There, it gets an angled back air Ooh. three one. Look, man, Luffy's making beast mode. Paul trying to calm down because he knows. You know what? You may be on beast mode, but I'm on a different mode than you because he's got three stocks and Luffy has yet to have taken anything. A lot of control coming out so far. And beast mode, or Luffy being like, you might be in beast mode, man, but I'm gear four. Yeah. Oh. See me in the initial drift when I'm drifting entirely on all the gears. Uh, oh, that's a rough. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> all right, beast mode Paul getting that first stock. And again, Hero has the toolkit to basically, you know, commit some grand larceny on a stock. Let's see if he's able to pull it off here. He's got the oomph active. Yeah, this is an opportunity to kind of slowly make things back up here. 68% off that exactly. one back air. Yeah, even... Caught the jump. Mm -hmm. And the side B. Oh, what I told a you. by Beast Mode Paul. Yeah, and I told you, this is this was his chance to make things up with that oomph entirely oh. here. So even even if he has... Oh! oh the is, oh, The bad DI Luffy's out! Oh, that is the power of Heroes to Frizz, man.